They are, Doug. The family of the Bedford man killed in that chain reaction crash, well, they believe his death was preventable. They are fighting for answers and say they will continue to push for accountability. All of us miss him every day. A husband, father, and Eagle Scout leader, Christopher Weitz was remembered today by loved ones. Chris Weiss was a loving husband and friend, son and brother. Most importantly, he was a wonderful, loving, and devoted father to his three children. Weitz was killed while riding his motorcycle last August on 95 in Redding. The result of a chain reaction crash allegedly started by 51-year-old Linda Wolf of Tingsboro. She's been charged with operating under the influence of drugs. DeWolf has been convicted twice before of drunk driving. The victim's wife and family attended a court hearing today for the suspect. They questioned why she was allowed to be on the road. Chris's death was completely preventable and he should still be here as a part of our daily lives. And there are also questions about what happened moments before the fatal crash. DeWolf was stopped by a state trooper for an earlier incident in Burlington and following 911 calls about her erratic driving. But DeWolf was allowed to continue on the road because the trooper determined there weren't any signs of impairment. 20 minutes later, she allegedly triggered the chain reaction crash that led to Christopher Weitz's death. The family intends to fight for justice, accountability, and consequences for all those responsible for his tragic and preventable death. Now, prosecutors at the court hearing today say uh, just yesterday, eight months after the crash, they have received the state police crash report. They plan to review the 79-page document and possibly add more charges by the next court date, which is May 31st. Live at the Woburn Courthouse, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.